ain't nothing better than coming back home to lead your team to victory, to lead your team to the championship. It's like I'm LeBron James, and it's like instead of playing Nuketown 2025, we play in Cleveland 2015. What is going on, YouTube? The Assist Man. And inside of this video, man, I went ahead and just was trying to find a random game during the double XP Nuketown 24-7 weekend. And as you can see, I loaded into a game of domination where the team I was on was already losing by like 37 points in the second round with less than five minutes left. So what more fitting way, like I said in the beginning, for me to play the role of LeBron, LeBron James and bring this team the victory. Bring them like I was going into it Cleveland style in the NBA Finals, which is about to hit us like right now. So let's go get into the topic of this video though. See, the topic of this video is something that is near and dear to my heart and I've talked about it a few times, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it again. And I wanna make sure that this time you guys listen to me because last time when I told you guys, I told y'all, I said it. I said, don't buy Advanced Warfare. Don't do it because the game looks terrible. Don't waste your money on it. Some of you guys, and you know who you are, some of you guys didn't listen to me. And then what happened? You went out and bought it. You played it for a couple days, a couple weeks, and then you did what? You hated it. And then you told me that what? I was right. And then I sat back like, what? I know I was. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about this Black Ops 3 beta. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not let them suck you in. Don't get the Black Ops 3 beta. I have talked about pre-orders in the past in another video. But don't let them suck you into this one. Do not pre-order this game. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I've been right about a lot of things in life. And this is one of them that I know I'm going to be right about. Don't pre-order this game just to play this beta. You see, they're trying to scam us, man. They are trying to scam the Call of Duty community because they know like we know that their game is just pretty much a done deal. And look at that triple for my nipple. A quad? A five piece? A six piece? Am I the goddamn Colonel at KFC? I'm over here giving out six pieces. Man, a quad feed at the top of the screen. Man, I got off track, but let's go ahead and get back to what I was talking about. You see, they know, like we know, that the Call of Duty gaming franchise is coming to an end. It's just coming to an end. It is. It really is. A super killer medal. Oh my god, I didn't even see that pop up at the screen. But anyway, so they're going to go ahead and try to be Activision. They're going to go ahead and try to be the money-hungry company that they always have been. The greedy company that they always have been. And they're going to go ahead and try to pull out all the stops to try to make as much money on Black Ops 3 as they possibly can. Because they know that it's not going to sell that well. They know. They know the sales of the Call of Duty is declining. They know this. So what better way to do it by saying, hey, if you pre-order the game, this way if you pre-order it, we know we got your ass. Because if you pre-order it, we know we got your money at that point. Ain't nothing you can do. <clears throat> Except for cancel the pre-order, that is. But we know we got your money. You pre-order it, they got you. That's a sale for them. And they're going to say, oh, if you pre-order the game, we'll let you play the game a week or two before it comes out in a beta. And first of all, betas are the biggest scams in the world. A lot of you guys think that people change, that these developers change shit in betas. They don't. And I'm not going to go ahead and talk about this or that in this video. I'm going to go ahead and talk about that in my next video about betas and the way those are scam-tastic to begin with. But they're trying to line this early release. They're trying to use this early release beta to line their pockets more. Because if the game was so good, if they think, if they personally think that Black Ops 3 is going to be so good, it's going to bring back that old school Call of Duty feeling. We're going to have millions of people playing the game again at once. If they think, if they really think that it's that good, then why are they making us pay for the beta? They are making us pay for the beta. Because the only way you can get it is if you buy the game. So, obviously, if it's so good, then why do we have to pay for it? Think about it. So, 
led my team back to that victory, man. You seen when I came in, we were down by like 30. But now we actually won the game. And I used the shotgun the whole game. But really, really think about what I said. If a game is so good and they have so much faith in their game, then why are they making us pay for it by pre-ordering the game? I have never seen that before with a AAA title like Call of Duty. I have never seen a game say, hey, you can play the beta where we are supposedly supposed to fix stuff, stress test stuff, blah, 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 but you gotta pay for it. Did you have to play, did you have to pay for the beta with Destiny when Destiny came out? No. Destiny released the beta for free before the game came out so people could see it. And you know what that did? It made a people like it made a lot of people like the game and say, damn, this game's gonna be dope. I wanna go ahead and buy it. Because the beta was so good. And see, that worked out for Destiny because they sold millions upon millions of copies in the first week the game came out. And Destiny was a free beta. It wanted to showcase the game because they felt so confident in their game. They were like, we're so confident this game is going to be awesome. We're going to let you guys play the beta of it a few weeks before it comes out. Blah, blah, blah. And then look what happened. Battlefield Hardline. Battlefield Hardline was a free beta for the Xbox One. Did we pay for that? No. Never winter. Neverwinter was a free beta. Did we pay for that? The point I'm trying to make is, man, these companies, when they're confident about their games, they give us the betas for free. We get to play them before the shit comes out for free. We don't have to pre-order shit. So why is Call of Duty making us to pad that pocket? Because they know, like we know, that your girlfriend is a hoe. <laughs> Had to hit you guys with some of that Chronic 2000 West Coast Dr. Dre, Corrupt, Dash, Dillinger So anyway, YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed the video And if you did, go ahead and leave that thumbs up like Don't forget to leave a comment And like always, I am out